know how big of a cut I'm gonna have to do, but basically I went back in time. Um Yeah. The war I see I don't know how big of a cut I'm gonna do, but basically what happened was is that I did a um after I basically I don't know if you can see this, but I did a uh, quick war against against Zinsing and basically what happened was is that I took nothing because basically the Chinese kind of ripped me out and said oh yeah we are not gonna give you anything and we and they just decided to do just an annexation of Queen Guy which they probably could have done both if they just waited a little bit they probably could have done both but they just did one and so I'd lost my entire cousin's belly on that which I got I got zero infamy but I was still you know I was still pretty mad because I can't for some reason in this war right now in this war like this war right here I can't add any like causes bell eyes so I'm kind of mad about that so you know I was like okay okay I'm just gonna go to war with you on so I went to go to war with you on and I racked up like 20 infamy for it I'm like okay that kind of stinks you know it's kind of gonna be good and all and you know I'm gonna be fine and dandy and everything and this wasn't like this wasn't like that but then the game kind of made me even more stupidly mad by, uh, you know, the Chinese not only, like, after they're super powerful now with, you know, Quinzai added to their armies and all this and all that, they basically declare war on me for containment, and I'm like, oh, great, okay, that's, that's pretty angering right there, but then the, all because of this war for Yuan, but then the worst part was is that then the causes Belai to get the stupid, um, province of, um, Yuan was then null and void. So after that, I just rage quit that and just rewinded back to here where I gained 1.4 infamy. So I did, it's not like I didn't pay for what I did. I did have to take 1.4 infamy. And this time I'm going to be much smarter about this. Um, I'm not adding in the Chinese this time. They're not going to be in this war. I don't care how much they want to be. They're not being in the war that basically did this. And also last time the Portuguese did do an alliance off and all that, but it's... I didn't say yes because I just don't like the Portuguese in this let's play. They kind of did too many things to us to uh, repent themselves, I guess. And I still got, I still have a core on them. See, see, this was my kind of thing. I was like, I still have a core on them. So I should probably go to war with them. Because right now all the great powers are occupied. So, yeah. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to fight these guys by myself. Because I'm, I don't trust. I, I honestly don't trust the Chinese anymore. They basically betrayed my trust with that, uh... With both not with both taking over this and giving me none of their land, and also um, you know the claim war me, they basically betrayed my trust. I no longer trust the Chinese. They are, for lack of a better word, they are definitely conniving people. Okay, I'm gonna move in right there. I'm gonna move right there. I need four, three armies. Whoops. Okay, I'm gonna move these guys right there. Okay, so yeah, I'm a little bit like ticked about that. And I would have, like, I would have fought out the uh, Chinese war guys and would have had an epic, cool war with them. The problem was, is that, that, that infamy, just like, the fact that my cause is like, for some reason, I don't even know why. They didn't even have, like, it wasn't even, like, a change of government or anything like that. They just said that, no, now the cause is like, is, un is void. So, you know, all that infamy that you just took and had to, like, deal with and probably gonna have to deal with after the war is over is all stupid and you just basically wasted your time. That's basically what the game just said to me. And so, I'm going to move my troops over here. I'm going to try to imitate what I did last time, but it's going to be pretty hard because I'm going to try to, like... I'll probably do this slightly more efficient because I'll probably know a little bit more. Wow, Russia, don't have... Don't don't have the revolution right now. Please, please, no... Please, uh, Russian Red Guards, why? Don't, don't... We actually need Russia in this war. Okay, I'm going to be sending my troops over there, so let's just send them right here. Um, you guys move right there. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's basically it. If, if the infamy, if they had not just, you know, destroyed that stupid Connors Belli and done that, I probably would have fought out the rest of this, but it just, that, that just made me mad. That just, that just like, there, there are certain points where I think this game just like gets too stupid. That's one of those. You don't just like null and void a Connors Belli. For what? Well, what was the reason? I still don't know the reason for this. By the way, I should probably pay back to those of the North Germanic Federation. Because that's pretty bad. I owe the people that I'm at war with. But, you know, what, what was the reason? What did I do wrong? I don't know. I still don't know what I did wrong. Like, seriously. I don't know what I did wrong. All I know is that I did something wrong. 
and that they destroyed the Cosbelli they had. Alright, I'm gonna slowly call in all my allies. Like, call in this ally, very likely. Yeah, you guys have to join in, because you guys are my vassal. Okay. They're starting to add more war goals, so maybe now I can join in? No. Dang it. I was hoping maybe I could do it. But, yeah. After this, I'm probably going to... You guys go right there. You guys are almost there. Let's see, can you guys get there in time? Hey, you guys got there in time. You guys go right there. Let's go straight for the capital. We just have to conquer this region, and then we're basically done. I'm, I, I, I like, seriously, that, that made me mad. But I'm just going to calm down, fight the rest of this out again, and we'll be all fine again. We'll be all fine and dandy. Those are the words I want to use in this sentence. All fine, all dandy. Yes. Let's get some... Hmm. Any more of this? I was going to get some iron railroads because we are making a lot of money right now. And having better better railroads would definitely help us out in the future. Alright. So let's see. We have that. Alright. The Burmese troops are helping me out. I'm keeping... It's a good thing I do have an alliance with, with China right now. But I have to make sure China does not become this world-class superpower because that would actually pretty much stink. It would definitely destroy my my chances of becoming my own in distinguished superpower which is kind of what we want to do um over here there's some battles going on i'm gonna go engage this one so it looks less threatening yeah you see now they're now they're leaving okay let's go to this one then are they really are they really gonna fight this one out one percent chance we should out for expedition yeah, there we go. Just helping, just helping random armies be broken. That's all I'm doing. Gonna get, gonna go, let's see if we can go fight some British troops that are half my size. Yep, we're winning. We won. We won that battle pretty dang quickly. Yep, yeah, we're just cutting, we're just cutting down the soldiers right there. That's so great. That's so awesome. Right, yeah, we're getting so much money for this too. 2.2% and there's our little colony in Africa the only colony we've ever had that is so awesome to have a colony right there All right over here like uh, we have a, it's our only African colony but it's the most it's the most coolest colony ever it's the best I mean all the other all the other all the other European states are so jealous of our one colony we should outfit an expedition I'm gonna keep outfitting expedition until it works eventually it's going to work I just don't know when Okay, you guys finish up with the conquest. This should be the last of the land. Um, don't fail me, guys. You guys go right here. Let's go conquer more of this. Um, okay, so apparently, apparently, China declared its own like separate war for Ming restoration. So it's still gonna get all this. So you know, actually, you guys just go right here. We don't really need to conquer any more of, the, of these guys because they're probably going to fall anyways. What we need to do is stop paying for a... Because now that China is starting to unite itself, we're going to have some of its land and we're going to need to stop preparing for a massive invasion of China. It sounds scary. Let me just say that now. It sounds quite, quite scary. That should kill off the rest of these guys. Um, yeah, you guys go kill off these guys. Yeah, we basically have this all under control. You guys are finishing off this. You guys go right here. Just need one more province. Oh no, did I forget to put down my soldiers? Oops. 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 Oops, where did all these people come from? Okay, I don't know where all these rebellions came from, but okay. Just kill them. Okay, good job, Whenever, whatever battle we just won. Seems like we're doing pretty good on the rebel front, and just have to go take it down this last province, and then we basically just have to wait till the Chinese destroy all of these guys, because basically what will happen is that these guys will become, um, these guys right here, oh, these guys right here will become, um, basically, these guys will become conquered, so we can basically just wait until they become conquered so we can get everything. So let's see, these guys right here, I'm going to do a separate peace treaty with you guys, and you guys are basically going to become annexed, and look at my India now, look at my India, okay, 
Oh my goodness. It looks like we should actually conquer Quinzing. Like, if I was to conquer Mongolia, it would look like we need to conquer Quinzing. And over here, we'll have our first colony, everyone. First colony up for grabs. Yeah. Instantly upgraded to a state. And we're instantly going to give it everything. Railroads, forts, a naval base. This is going to be the pimping. This is going to be the pimping out colony of the, of the Indian Empire. All right. And now we just have to wait. Okay, you guys... You guys should probably surrender. Yeah. Just saying. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> like, I know you guys are gonna try, but... Yeah, and then these guys... I don't know why we still can't add any col colonizing events. I mean, probably because maybe we're not, like, the great, great power, and so we don't get, like, first dibs or something. So, yeah, I'm gonna move back these guys. Keep an army up here. Um, moving army back over here. I'm gonna have to start reorganizing my army, actually. Because now I'm gonna have, like, tons and tons of soldiers, alright? And start preparing for when I have to go to war for... Actually, just shift-click. 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 There we go. Expand that entire region. Alright, but what we're gonna have to start doing is start preparing for when we have to go to war for... Um... With China. Because I already know it's going to happen, and we're already going to have to prepare for it. So I'm already going to start upgrading a lot of these fortresses. This is the... Like, these are the most crucial right now. Because these are the ones that are going to be the most targeted by the Chinese. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're all good. <laughs> uh, we actually got the land, and so I'm slightly more calm now. We have a big, gigantic India... Like, we now have India underneath our names, which is India Awesome. Ah. No, that's a bad joke. <laughs> uh, it wasn't even a joke, really. It was just more of a statement. Those are the worst kind of jokes. You don't even know. When you just realize it's a statement, you're like, oh, yeah, that's a statement, not a joke. Hmm. Yeah, this is, this is what you get, guys, after a while, because I'm so tired. I'm so tired. Okay, we should outfit expedition. Will you guys... Do you guys ever will discover this Northern Pole? I mean, I know our geography is probably not the best because we are not next to the Northern Pole. But seriously, you guys should be able to find it by now. I've ex I've given you so much money. Like, so much money. Speaking of which, have we paid off all our loans? Yes, we have. The Ottoman Empire wants an alliance. Have they wronged me in any, in any point? No, I don't think they should. But should I actually give them an alliance? They're not that bad of a power. They're like fourth strongest. Hmm... Should I? They could give me some help over here. Should I? Yes. Sure ish? Maybe. China's gonna be. S but China's a, China's a great power, and they're already, already buddy buddies with China. Pretty much. How close are they to overlapping, lapsing us? Oh, uh, they're about 100 down. That's not too big of a gap, but. That's scary. <laughs> that's just scary right there. Alright, I'm just sitting here. My army is now fully healed, so what I might go do is go do some conquests. And now I can increase my railroad production. I'm going to, uh, going to, uh, get nationalism and imperialism. Finally. Took me, like, the entire game. But that should be allowed to... Basically, what I want to do is I want to go take over the rest of Ethiopia, if I can. I don't want alliance... Do I... I guess I don't. I guess I don't want that alliance. You guys go die. Uh, you guys, I really wish I had my ships. All my ships just died. Um, let's see. My empire is kind of spread out right now. I'm going to fight. Let's see, yeah. Yeah, okay. So right now I'm going to uh, increase the railroads. Because I love the railroads. It's so great to have railroads. It's good to have money. I, I love, this is like one of my favorite parts now. It's just like increasing all the railroads in my country. Like seriously, so much fun. So much fun. Let's get this, let's get this, let's get this, let's get that, let's get that, let's get that. Do I have enough? I'm pretty sure I'll have enough. But you never know. You never quite know. Get these little tiny states. Okay, get my main... Ah, dang, I don't have enough. Alright, well, I should have enough in a couple days. It's, if it's a little bit behind, that'll be fine. But this is going to be a modern-day India full of very much modernistic ideas and just we are like seriously we as India are doing awesome with seventh great power we should be going to six here very basically once we get the uh, northern pole we should be able to come to six 
Seems like the French have basically cleared up the rest of this confusion over here. Tensions, whatever. Whatever you want to say. Let's see, can we add anything to this war? No, we can't, because now it's 100%. So we are just now in this war because of... We have to wait for it to all end. We have to wait for them to say all in or nothing. Um, wish I could actually go invade the British right now, but I don't have enough powerful enough army. Um, this should be not my problem. This should be uh, two Sicilies. Two Sicilies should be able to deal with that problem. Uh, Ethiopia, Ethiopia, Ethiopia. Yeah. Still remember that. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Let's go back to this. Increase our own province. Dang it! <laughs> Didn't have enough money. Almost did. Almost had enough to finish the rest of my empire. Really? Really? There we go. There we go. Now my empire looks really good. This is this is. I'll probably have to increase the less of land later, like a little bit later. But this is gonna be a massive. Once we get these all built, this is gonna help my economy by a lot. Mmm. My tax efficiency is also doing really awesome right now. That is great news. Okay. Let's move down here. Just take down the rest of these islands. I mean, basically got under control. I mean, what are these guys? The British citizen guards. That's not really going to help at all. So you can reconquer back all the land that's basically belonging to India, because I don't really care. It's not really my land. So, alright, so. Okay, I was about to say, let's go help the French, but the French already have it under control. So, yeah, we're just, we're, I would love to move these guys out, but it seems like there's way too many, like, British destroyers next to me. And finally, I can build some electrical factories. Sheesh. I mean, seriously, that took, oh my goodness, how do we keep having, that is a lot of people. Okay. Okay, if I'm going to build an electrical gear factory, I want to get a, uh. Ah, oh, dang, we need rubber. We need a ton of rubber. And see, this is the reason why I need the ah. Uh, now we're back to the original reason we need why we need to get this little island right here is because we need rubber. We also need Malaysia. Maybe I should have just gone for a separate war. Like, where do we get all this stuff? Oh, do I own this? Oh. Okay, so I do have a good province for rubber. That's good. All right, we're just gonna save up enough for electrical gears. Electrical gears go to telephones. Let me let me remember this. Electrical gears go to telephones. And then Damn, I'm a little bit behind. Automobiles can be just made by themselves. Okay. Let's see, how are we doing in terms of those markets? Would it be too big for me to enter in? No, it's not too big yet. We could still enter in that market. We could still enter in that market. Okay, we just and since we're since we have very, very cheap labor, this is a perfect market for us. <laughs> That's terrible. That's terrible, but it is so true. Oh, and I'm not going to react to any reforms. I'm basically going to keep my soldiers, my people, as dumb as possible. Okay. And apparently, I'm conquering a little bit of, of Germany. Look at me. I'm conquering Germany! I'm in Brunswick. Wait, where am I? What's this, what's this province called? No, oh, I'm right over here. I'm in Kopenhagen. Connected to nowhere else, but I'm conquering some part of Germany. That is awesome. That is awesome. And both the French and the uh, Russians are about to go in and go destroy the rest of the German Empire. Quite cool, quite cool. And it's been about it's been about four years since we began this massive, massive war. Well, it's been four years since we decided to join this massive, massive war. By the way, who are you guys' alliances? We basically have no alliance, so... You know, Portugal, I think what I'm going to do is basically use my troops, go move over here, and I'm going to uh, go to war with you and take all your land. So that I'm pretty sure since you only have 33 troops, I could deal with you. Okay? Because I do want my land back now since we do have a free moment that you are not allied with anyone. So let me acquire my core back. Call in all my allies. Really, China? Let me do it by myself then first. Seriously. 
And there's a lot of cut down the size modifiers. I'm really loving that. That means all the great powers right now. That means both England and Germany are going to deal with severe issues after this war. Like, severe, severe. They're not going to be able to do much. And just a couple more rebellions and then all these troops are all dead. They won't, be able to, they won't be able to help themselves anymore, which is so helpful. Okay, but Portugal's now going to go die. Okay, going to go send my troops to go kill Portugal. Go die, Portugal, go die. Oh, this is so terrible. And I can actually get to the land, too, which is the most terrible thing ever. Is that they can't just, like, hide behind the fact that they live far away. I can get to the land. So this is going to be the final conquest of the little province. They have a core on this, too. No, they don't have a core on this. So they cannot get back at me, either. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, they need to adapt, seriously. They need to instantly adapt my culture and my customs. They are not allowed to be Chinese anymore. They are going to be the mighty Indian nation. Or the mighty Indian Empire, I should say. It's more of an empire right now than a nation. If, if, we, if we're going to be technical terms, it's more of a n of that. Okay, let me get my troops. We should out for another expedition. Well, we are just not giving up. We are, we are stubborn to the bone. We are not giving up. We are going to die before we give up on any of this. Um, how much are, shoot, how are you, like, seriously, I'm, I'm having to, like, increase every single one of my factories to keep up with all this, like, major growth. Seriously, like, we're having to increase every single one of our factories. I mean, it's a good sign that we're growing, but still, wow. Okay, you guys just kill the rest of Portugal. We're gonna have to do this really quick, too, before, let's see, who, who speared Portugal? No one. Oh, it was the Spanish. The Spanish had Portugal, and then, well... Yeah, they're kind of gone now. They're kind of no longer part of the Great Power Club. Over here, I have my one colony. My one African colony. That's going to be like my super duper awesome colony. Uh, over here. Yeah, the British are basically cleaning up the rest of this. It took them a long time to get soups over here, though. Seriously, it took them a long time. And finally, everyone. The war is over, so... I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.